<laughs> you see lots of caravans? Yeah. Hey, can you see the park there? Yeah, that is. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, iFam. Me and Jay's are people watching. I love it when he answers himself. Watch outside. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm a baby. So, Daddy. me and Jay's are trying to be quiet because the girls are outside doing some schoolwork, but we've woke up in the best moods today because the sun is shining and it's the, I keep saying it's the first day of our holiday, but today does feel like it because we don't have to do lots of driving today, do we, Jace? What are you doing? Come out. I'm sure the iPhone really wanted to know that you're trying to push a poo out. Anyway, guys, we got up this morning and we had a nice cup of tea and breakfast outside, which was so lovely because it's it looks like a really nice day today. Mama. And now we've set the girls up with some schoolwork. I've just been helping Esme with some maths. Mama. Isabel's doing work on the periodic table Mama. and Isla's doing some history. I think she's just moved on to right now. Two seconds and we've got a really nice, well we've got a bit of a plan that we want to get done today. So we're going to start that as soon as the girls have finished. It's a bit of a mess outside actually. Stuff over, me and Chris was like, we need to get like a windbreaker and like private off like our area because we're so messy. <laughs> I don't know how I said to Chris, you love cleaning, I like organizing. How does our living space always end up so messy? Because you have kids. That's what Dad said. He said it's probably because you've got about eight million kids. I'm, I'm gonna have to film you, Esme. So, 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 Esme, you tell me what the best thing about doing schoolwork outside is. I get to do my work with a moth. She gets to do her work with a moth. What are those dots on your hand? Oh yeah, I was with my pen and I was just doing that. I don't know why I did it. Oh. <laughs> Anyone else's children just constantly draw on their hands? <laughs> <laughs> because my do and it drives me absolutely mad. Look, Careful of the wires, Jay, so I'll help you, okay? Is Garfield. Garfield. Yep. So this moth I think he's was a bit tired. This kind of bad. I know. I don't know if he's dying as. It keeps moving and then sleeping and then moving and then sleeping. This, this moth was on my jumper this morning when I woke up and <laughs> everyone had a look at it and then Esme adopted it and it's been sat with her now for about an hour and a half I while she's been working. It's in my hand and then I put it on the grass and then it kept flo flying up and landed right on this chair. So I, then it just moved around and I adopted it so. It's mine. It's mine. She's the moth whisperer. She's the moth man. <laughs> <laughs> the moth girl. I'm the moth girl. <laughs> okay, Isabel so has just been working. I was doing chemistry, but I've moved on to maths now. Um, and I'm going over, on my maths, I'm going over probability. She hates. Want to cry. But we're fine. We're fine. Um, <laughs> so in chemistry, I was doing about like atomic structures and when you have like an element and you're figuring out the protons and the electrons and neutrons in them. And I got 15 out of 15 on my questions. Brilliant, yeah. Isabel. Um, it was quite a lot to write. I did like four pages of writing. Um, but yeah, that's my chemistry done. I've got maths. <laughs> She's got maths. I've got, I've got maths, and they're probably going to do English and history. I think we'll yeah. do those two today. Just yeah. Your you moth. Yeah. You got your moth has gone. No, it's right there. I nearly cried oh. that moment. I was sat here and there was this like thing coming down. I thought it was a flight first. There was just this spider crawling down to me. So I was going, <laughs> it was just still coming towards me. And then it got on my books, but it was still coming down. I was like, <laughs> so I just threw it down there. I was like, oh my goodness. Isla, do you want to say what you're doing or not? I'm doing maths. Doing maths. Your Fractions. Fractions. Jace, do you need help? Yeah. Jace just been the renegade. <laughs> Schoolwork finally done. I mean, Esme, Isla's run off to the park, but so she's like, can I? She's been des Esme still playing with the moth, guys. I think it's a lovely mate. I tried to put it down onto the grass, but it just flew back. She's got a moth, mate. Yeah. <laughs> me and Esme are about to do a new fidgets and me bit of promotion. We've got some brand new products. I'll show you guys those in a moment. But Esme is just, just sat playing up my so with fast, her elbows. And the old Mothman still sat on her shoulder. Playing with dolls together. <laughs> moth with moth dolls. lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you crazy. I can make it home for it. <laughs> no. It's so cute. Oh, no. <laughs> it likes my jumper. It won't, oh, it won't come so off my jumper. It's so cute. <gasps> oh. Okay, so whilst Esme sits and holds her moth, 
I guess I will show you the fidgets that we've got. <laughs> I, I have one in my hand. <laughs> These are only a sneak peek. This is not everything. Obviously, we're on a trip, so we couldn't... And there's a lot of us, and we need the clothes and things, and, you know, everything that goes with going on a holiday trip. So we could only bring a small, really small selection. But we do have a few things here that are brand new to fidgets and me. Even Irid better. Esme so is good. really excited over these. <laughs> so, the first thing... Do you want to just yes. go? So we have a rainbow needle, which I love so much. Probably my favourite because you have. Do you like the needles? Yeah, the I love needles. Are my do favorite. you like the rainbow one or do you like the colour changing ones? I quite like the colour changing one. I have this one and this one turns to a bright neon yellow. I mean orange. That's really cool. Look at that. You can't really squeeze them too much when they're in the bags, yeah. obviously, but we don't want to be opening them off. They're very soft. And then we've got purple to... Green, like a really nice bluey oh, green. Oh, well, I'm filming. Purple to... Like a bluey green. You can see, see the colour better. I do not have a blue green sample. Yeah. And then we've got oh green to yellow. Oh my gosh, I really thought this way. We've got nice. green to yellow. Um, um blue to pink. And then blue to pink. Uh, I don't know if you'd be able to see that. You can't, you can't squeeze They're really them hard to see, yeah. basically. And then the rainbow mm. ones, do they stay rainbow, right? Yeah, they stay white. So the rainbow ones rainbow. go white. We've also got new Infinity Cube colours. Different colours. We've got black and white ones. These were really popular. I love it. These are probably my favourite. They sold, we had the most of them and they sold out really, really fast. fast. Yeah, they did. So these are my favourite fidget, personally. I just like how satisfying they are when you play with them. So we got those in black and white, as well as all the other colours that we had in the previous launch we've got some new snappers because these are so awesome yeah we've got frat i don't know if you can see properly but we've got we should take them out of the packet actually yeah so we've got fries snappers which are pretty epic and then we've also really got soft. some snappers you get are too hard yeah they do feel and really they're soft. like really stiff these are really soft yeah and then we couldn't not get pineapples right yeah so we've also got pineapple snappers oh, they're really satisfying which are these are like esme says they're really nice they're bright colors and they are super soft and then the final sneak peek you guys best <laughs> what are these called simple no, digit dimples. Digit dimples. So, have we have these large digit dimples. We've got them in black. And we've got them in I like white, white. the best. We've got them in a turquoise colour, which are really nice. And we've, and we've also got them purple. in purple. These are a little bit different to the ones that you can buy elsewhere. And I'll show you why. So, oh, it's gone really dark. <laughs> That's better. So the girls had some of these previously that we'd bought like from stores or online or something and they really liked them but we there were a few flaws in the ones weren't they that they got online and the main one was that they were too thin. So you can't put them on the ground. Because they're so big you need to kind of have them on a surface to yeah. play properly with them. But because they were so big, what was happening is... So, when you press so, them down... So thin, I mean. So thin. When you press it down, it all just lifted up like that. Yeah, because it touched yeah. the floor. So we needed to get them that was that were thicker so that you could really easily... And you, you can hold them whilst you do it as well, but... You can do, but it's more comfortable like when they're on a surface. Yeah. But you couldn't do that with the other ones because they were so thin that the pop-it part touched the floor before yeah. you got to pop it. These are even learning. Sense. So you have the numbers, yep. you're writing, and we have it in um, Spanish. Spanish. Yep. So we have it in Spanish as well on one side and we also have it in um in it, well numbers on the other side. Isles just got back from a path. Okay so like Esme did just say Mommy, these are learning. Mommy. You want to look at it? Yeah. Okay. Isla has actually learned to count fully to ten. Not I yeah. Is she has? This one is so cool. I know. I'm gonna search what my She's learned to count to ten from these in Spanish. So looking into the camera so you're not cheating. Go. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. <laughs> <laughs> this I think it is. I uh, think you might be this, right. Yes. No, I can't pronounce it. I know it's that, but I can't pronounce it. Yes. Well done, Isla. They're good. So that's your guys' sneak peek. Feeling fresh out the shower block. So today, the first job we need to get done before we go do anything else, and we've got a lot to do today, actually, is we need to move the van a little bit because when we arrived yesterday and we parked on the pitch, it's a little bit uneven and it was it's uneven to the point where it's only a few degrees that it's actually tilted to the left at the minute. 
and at first when we arrived it wasn't a big deal we were like oh it's all good we'll just leave it it's fine like it is but it's actually bugging it's actually bugging us right inside now it's tilted yeah. a little bit too much the bathroom door for instance won't stay open it'll just swing shut kind of thing because it's tilted just a tiny I bit to the tall, left though, like walking around when i'm in bed i didn't feel like i was leaning you can't really tell it's just it's very slight but it's causing like the doors to short and yeah. slam shut and stuff like that so it's just a bit annoying so i'm going to basically i've got a thing called a lock and level which i'm going to get out and i'm going to basically drive the caravan onto like a, an airbag and then it inflates one side of it which will just level it out and make it all straight and level so i'm going to do that now i wasn't going to do it but i am going to do it but the only thing is it requires us putting the awning away uh, and stuff like that so i can move the caravan forward and then move it back we did have the absolute best night last night ever it was so so quiet here and lovely it was just the only thing you could hear was that in the distance some cows mooing in the night and that was just ace and there was just no noise all morning either it's so lovely and quiet here and the weather is just perfect today. Listen to them birds. So we're gonna do that, sort the caravan out, make sure that's all good and right. And then we're gonna head off because we've got a couple of things to buy that we wanna get for the caravan like, like we spoke about yesterday. And um, and then we're gonna go check out the area, the local area around here and see, what, uh, see what's around. I know we're very near a beach or a few beaches or whatever. So we're gonna go have a look at those. Um, today's gonna be more of a kind of getting things sorted kind of a day and having a little explore. And then tomorrow we're gonna get into like the the traveling out and going and seeing the proper Cornwall and seeing all the stuff that's to see basically, comment down right? Below some recommendations. Yeah, so yeah, definitely do that guys. Comment below like where's to go, where's the best beaches. We're right kind of in the south. We're right near down near Land's End. So we're right we're right at the bottom basically. So um we're we're very close to everything ish. So we can go anywhere. So comment below some suggestions about where we should go and what we should go see. But let's get this caravan sorted in the meantime. Moth is called Garfield. <laughs> it's called Garfield, and she's amazing. Oh, he, I don't really mind. But um, I'm going to, because I made this little habitat, but I made this little leafy thing with some flowers in, because I read that they liked flowers that butterflies are attracted to. But I couldn't find any le like flowers other than daisies and buttercups, and I don't even know if they like any of them. But I'm about to take her, or he, on a walk. We're about to take Garfield on a walk. So, come on Garfield. I'm actually gonna be brave. I'm gonna put it on the grass and so she can have a little wander around. She's a very sleepy moth. Like she just likes, Garfield just likes to run around and then sleep. Right, I'm begging you to not fly away, little moth. Come on, come off my hand. Whoa. Please don't fly away. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Here you go. Okay, run along. I'm trying to fly. See it right there. I went to go wet a few rocks that were in her little habitat because I know they don't really like water, but they need to drink, I think. <laughs> I have no idea. But yeah, I'm just going to take her on a little walk and I will update you guys if she has flown away or not. Update, and it is a good update. So, my little Garfield is, she was just walking around here. I don't, I think there might be something wrong because she was trying to climb up onto these leaves and then trying to fly, but she couldn't fly. But there might be something wrong, I don't know. But I'm gonna keep her safe in here. Now, she does not, that's why I put it like this. I don't want to be capturing her and leaving her, like trying to force her to stay in because that's cruel. And I don't want to be mean to my little Garfield. So if she, want, if she wants to fly away, then she can. But I put it here. And she crawled in there by herself, as you can see she's on the roof up there. I don't know if you can see that up there. But she loves it. And I know that moths like to like go upside down because they go on roofs a lot. Like when you see a moth, it's on your roof. So I've, put, I've turned the little tub that she's in this way. And I read that they don't like the sunlight. So this is a nice sun blocker. But yeah, little Garfield is just chilling upside down. I took her on a walk and she didn't fly away. Garfield just didn't fly away. She loves me so much. What did you say? What, darling? I can't hear you. What did you say? You're so sad. Why are you so sad? Hey? Are you having snuggles? Oh my gosh, I'm so relaxed right now. We're all just sat here in the sunshine. It's so nice and warm today. It's so nice and relaxing and warm. What, darling? Yeah. Jace is telling me he's oh so tired. He keeps saying, I'm so tired. And I'm so sad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> What's wrong, Jace? <laughs> what, darling? 
He's so sad. He's so sad. Hey. Are you a bit sleepy? Yeah. Have we had a couple of late nights? Yeah. You didn't wake up until 9.45. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was the cutest thing ever this morning, wasn't it? We were all sat, I was, we were awake anyway, I don't know if the girls were, Isla was for definite. But we just laid there and Jay suddenly goes, Dada, 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 help me, help me. <laughs> we were all like, what's wrong, what's wrong? And he just woke up because, because Chris said before we went to sleep, if you need me in the night, Jace, you just shout me, okay? And Jace was like, okay. So obviously when he woke up this morning, oh, he was, I always say, Jace, if you need me in the night, remember to shout, Dada, Dada, really loud, and I'll come rescue you. Yeah, so Jace this morning woke up, he's like, Dada, Dada, help me. <laughs> it was so cute. Oh, cool. What? Now he's too tired again. Oh, I can hear the helicopter. I think it's come back. Yeah. Where is it? It's like I'm awake. Like, oh, where? Does the helicopter come back? Yeah. Where is it? A high yacht. The helicopter. We have it. No, it's my raft. <laughs> you now want Esme's raft? Yeah. You want Esme's lunch? It's up there, look. Can you see it? You're right there, Isabel. <laughs> You look like we look like you are loving life as much as I'm loving these ice pops right now. <laughs> Do you know when you're just like on holiday, everyone's just quiet. You can hear the birds. The birds, like all doing the thing, and like the sun's just on your face. Oh, cheers, Dad. <laughs> you know, like, nice warm feeling that you get, and you're just like. Oh. Yeah, Esme is absolutely loving life right now, guys. I cannot believe this. So put your hand a bit closer to me. You don't like found <laughs> another. It's got a right furry head. Here it is. <laughs> Look how furry that bad boy's head is. I hope this one isn't poisonous. <laughs> oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> it's not going to be. Why is it so good? I think I can see a few differences. Mom, mug. My moths. Can I hold it? Oh. It was so funny. One of this little, my first ever moth, Garfield, climbed. I put it on Jason's arm because he wanted it on his arm and it climbed up and it was on his shoulder. And then when I tried to get it off, it ran up his face. <laughs> oh, he was good. Oh. oh, did it go on your face, darling? Yeah. Yeah. I liked it. <laughs> but Emily yeah. got it off. Oh, please don't fly away, please don't fly away, please don't fly away. Aww, so Aww. cute. It must be like the time of year that they just chill because moths never let me hold them. I think them. it's more maybe the time of day. Oh yeah. So it's actually a couple of hours later. We went to a Tesco, which was about a 25 minute drive or so, to get... Are you okay? Clever boy. You all right? Clever boy, you're such a Clever boy. boy. Jay's literally just KO'd. Oh, Is he okay? He tripped. We went to Tesco and got some food and salad and drinks for a barbecue tonight. I say drinks like it's anything more exciting than grapefruit juice. <laughs> That's as exciting as it gets. But we got some veggie sausages and burgers and some sauces and dips and side salads and things. Everybody on this campsite it felt like I was having a barbecue last night and I was like, I really, really, really fancy one. So we went and got everything and that's what we're going to do now. You're making me laugh. Ma, ma. What are we doing? Ma, ma. What, what are we making? Ma. Chips. Make ma chips. <laughs> Jesus, help. look at the size of these chips we're making tonight, guys. We're leaving the skin on. Skin on chips, right? Cutting up some spudlings. Proper chips. You alright, Isla? No. Tired? What just happened is I went to the toilet block. And the dog was doing this thing, and I just knew for a fact I was getting locked in there. And it was too. I was like five minutes getting out, and I'm ragging it. And I finally got it open. And I don't know I'm why, but my children always get locked in the toilet. Like every time. Pretty much every time. And then I left my jumper, and I had to run back. Look, she is. She is tree. What did she see, darling? A cow. A cow in the yeah. tree? Yeah, cry cow. You in want the... to get any cockchains? Yeah. Are you nearly done? Yeah. What did daddy do? You did a good job. Yeah, I did a good job. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. I did a good job cooking the burgers. Mwah. Thank you very much. A knife. Yeah, a knife. Yeah, a knife. A nice ding ding time. Yeah, and cut them. Yes. We just ate the first lot of these and Sarah's making, like these things are better than Five Guys chips man and that's saying something. Hi guys, me and Isla 
just finished up eating some yummy, yummy, may I say yummy dinner, and we are about to play oh. with, I don't know what you call this, I've totally forgot, but we're about, oh yeah, bat and ball, tennis, whatever you want to call it, but we're about to play it, and I haven't played this in so long, but we bought these from the shop, and we are about to play it. Said that five times, so let's go. <gasps> Great job! I just battered it, and it landed right there. <laughs> Bomb, man. So it suddenly got very cold out there tonight. One minute I was absolutely fine and the next, oh my gosh, I was frozen. And you know that type of cold where it just seems to take ages to, to cool back up, I was about to say, to warm up, that's what it was. Finally nice and warm though. We are going to put some a movie on or something. Chris has bought, a, is it just the TVs or something special you bought for the TVs? To connect, to sync them both? No, no, no I've, I did it. So special I did. So basically, whenever we come on caravan holidays, the girls love to watch movies together. But if it's not quite warm enough or dark enough outside to watch it on the projector, they like to watch it in the caravan. But with all six of us, we can't all fit on one bed to watch it. And we do have two TVs, one down there for the girls and one up here for us. And we always try and pause and play at the same time <laughs> so that we can kind of watch it together. But if one's slightly louder than the other, you can hear like a bit of a delay and it's really annoying. So Chris bought something to sync both TV TVs so that we can watch them together, which is very exciting. So what one plays, the other plays. Yeah, so what one plays, you can play on the other one at the same time. So it's pretty cool. We're not, um, I'm not sure what we're going to watch tonight. Esme's obsessed with Avengers movies at the moment. Yeah. Oh, Venom. Venom, Isabella shouting, and wants to watch that. I don't think we're going to watch that tonight because I feel like I might fall two asleep. Hours. And it's two hours long. I just Speaking of Esme, I can't actually cope. She's not in the caravan right now, guys, because you know where she is. She's outside walking Gareth. What's she called? Gilbert. Gilbert. No, it's not Gilbert. No, it's Garfield. Garfield. Garfield and Margaret. And Margaret, guys. Her two moths. She's outside walking them before bed. <laughs> I can't go. They've stayed with her all day, though. I can still hear you. Oh, she can hear me. She's obviously not too far away. But I can't believe they've, they've, they've both actually stayed with her all Esme. day today. Esme, do you know moths only live for a day? They don't, they don't. No, they don't. <laughs> Dad said the same thing. Dad they was like, longer. you do realise when you wake up tomorrow morning, the, that that's moth will be... flies, is it not? I think it's dragonflies. Yeah, it's dragonflies. Yeah, I think it's oh. dragonflies. Oh, everyone's going to be like, oh dear. Oh dear, Isabel. But it's okay, because we all had a laugh at Dad, because he said the same thing. Esme, you do realise when you wake up tomorrow, that moth won't be alive. And Esme was absolutely mortified. So I was like, Esme, I'm sure that's not right. Don't listen. And we looked it up, and it's not. It can live for months. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, we've got a really fun, packed day for filmed what is wrong with me today i literally cannot talk today was like an admin sorting day today we had loads of emails sort, sort out we had loads of schoolwork that we needed to do and we needed to go to the shops which took like a couple of hours and we need to do a few things on the caravan did you show that airbag that's keeping the tires up did you actually show it in the end oh my gosh i'm so impressed with that airbag holding up the whole caravan right now but a little bit scared at the same time i feel like any moment it's gonna go bang no, it won't. thank you <laughs> Um, but tomorrow Mama. we're going to be heading to some coves Mama. and beaches. Mama. What, darling? Mama. Mama. Thank you. We're going to do some coves and some beaches, and I'm really excited to see some of Cornwall. Don't forget, Fidgets and Me live at 6 p.m. So by the time you're watching this, if the vlog's not late again because of signal and problems like that, um, by the time you're watching this, it'll only be an hour to go. They're going live at 6 p.m. We'll see you back here tomorrow, 5 p.m. Good night, guys.